I'm Cindy with Air Science Resources, and today we're speaking with Kendall St. Ange. He is an environmental consultant. I'm Kendall St. Ange, and I am an environmental consultant. My background is in environmental science and geology. And today I'm going to talk to you about how I make the world a better place by addressing our issues with water. So as an environmental consultant, there are many things that I do and I wear many caps at different times. Um, one of the things that I do is sometimes I'll advise real estate companies as to what are their risks with purchasing a piece of property? You know, are they purchasing contaminated property? If so, how do you clean it up? Um, how expensive might that be? Has, has contamination moved off of the potential property on other to other properties. Um, sometimes I will work on cases for the state where I'm addressing issues of groundwater. As you know, groundwater is very important because we all need it to survive. And uh, unfortunately, as a factor of industrial revolution, uh, our groundwater has been affected. And what I help do is I help determine one, what are the impacts to different environmental media, such as our soil, our groundwater, our bedrock. And I also then say, okay, if there are impacts, how do we go about cleaning it up? Then once that's done, um, I will then go back and say, all right, is it clean? And to what standards? Is it safe for someone to live on top of? Is it safe for someone to drink? Can they breathe this air? Um, and if not, what more might we need to do? And then um, there are also issues such as environmental justice, such as what are the impacts that an industrial complex may or may not have on its surrounding neighborhood? Is it affecting asthma rates? Is it not? Um, and if so, how do we help these industrial properties become better neighbors? Um, because unfortunately, some people believe that, you know, they intentionally uh, create these issues and sometimes it's by accident. Um, you know, sometimes these facilities were built far away and then people started working there and then they started building around these facilities. So I like to say I like to help make the environment a better place, um, especially in neighborhoods such as urban markets. I'm going to talk to you about my career path and how I became a geoscientist. And initially, that was not my goal. As a kid, I always wanted to be a marine biologist. Uh, coming from New Jersey, uh, you know, I thought biology was the way to go. And I just spoke to the bi biology advisor, and he said, uh, yeah, sure, you know, you can do biology. And then I also thought about environmental science. Uh, so I went to speak with Dr. Gates, environmental science advisor, and then he said, you know, uh, the school's in Newark, New Jersey. He said, you know, you won't see much wildlife in New Jersey, and unless you want to relocate, uh, you're better off majoring in environmental science or geology. So I initially started off as an environmental science major, and then uh, naturally you have to take a few geology classes. And he said, uh, you know, you're not bad at geology. Have you ever considered majoring in geology? So I decided to double major. And that's how I all got started. And I fell in love with it because I enjoyed being outside. I enjoyed being inside. And every day was a new topic, a new issue. Nothing was ever boring and the same. Every day was a new issue. Um, so I completed, uh, you know, going to Rutgers, and then here I am, and I'm working now as a geologist. I started off working on the NJDEP contract, which stands for the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection, uh, as an environmental consultant. And there we looked at many of the groundwater issues uh, in the state as well as you know what affects the groundwater quality that many of the citizens are drinking. Then I moved uh, 
slowly but surely onto bigger projects involving real estate, sometimes advising states as to what type of remediation method is feasible or unfeasible, and whether or not they should even be paying for it. Uh, because the reality is, is this work is impactful. Um, on a Superfund site, they wanted to hold the government responsible and the government said no, they cleaned the water before they put it back into water bodies. And uh, the EPA wanted them to put in a remediation system that would cost them about a billion dollars. And the reason why that was so impactful for that city was that if they charge a billion dollars, that means they've got to increase taxes, which means rents have to go up, which means it becomes more expensive for people to live in that city. And that's what I love most about my job and what I do as an environmental consultant, is I get to help create reasonable solutions that help people, uh, even if you don't see the direct impacts at the moment. Um, even with real estate, I think that's been one of my favorite things to work on. And something that I've specialized in is finding developers the right place to buy that meets their needs and helps the environment. And it helps them create good economic impacts in the community. Not only can they afford to clean up these sites, they make a profit in developing them. And part of those profits means they get to hire more people and employ more people so they can have beneficial impacts in their communities. The advice that I give my younger self is, uh, you know, be patient, be diligent, be disciplined. Um, you know, going to school, I remember being 23 and having someone at Rutgers New Brunswick say, you're really good, would you be interested in getting a PhD uh, at Rutgers New Brunswick? And uh, at the time I thought to myself, uh, you know, I need to get to work, I need to get paid to pay these student loans. Um, and being a PhD, was always one of my goals, and it still is. Uh, it'll take me a bit longer, but it's all about creating your own pathway and uh, just staying focused on the goal. Because in reality, whether your mom or dad or someone else told you, you'll have lots of time to do other things. They're absolutely right. You will. Uh, so that's the advice that I give myself: is to just be patient and uh, stay focused on the goal. And if you're disciplined, you'll always get what you want and don't be afraid to take a risk.